Mr. Welsh, it's good to see you again. Please, John, call me Jack. I actually go by Jack as well. I don't think so. Well, I'd like to talk to Don. I know he's here. He is here, but he's dead. <gasps> what? He died three weeks ago. The company wanted to keep it quiet until the deal went through. So I've been hiding him in your freezer, just like we did with Hiram Shinar during the RCA deal. Look, I know how much Dawn meant to you. And if you need to pass some eye water, I'll be happy to go out and get you some weakness tissues. No, I'm not crying in front of Jack Welch, Neutron Jack. And I'm not giving up. Don Geis wanted this company kept intact. And these people are from Philadelphia. Let it go, John. It's over. Miss Lemon, how did the dinner stop us go? Did you meet Wesley? I did meet him. We even went out for coffee. And? And it was a disaster. We were so awkward that the waitress gave us separate checks without asking. And a priest came over and asked us who we'd lost. But it has to work out. Does it? Do you have your wallet back? Did I find my future husband? Sometimes everything is just the worst, Kenneth. Jack? It's over, Lemon. It's all over. What? What's wrong? Don Geis is dead. Oh, my God. They're selling NBC to a company called Cable Town, with a K. Oh, yeah. My parents have Cable Town down in Pennsylvania. It's a fine and generous company. My dream, the dream I've had since I was a child, is gone. I'll never be the CEO of the general. Oh, Jack, I'm so sorry. Will I still be able to turn in old cab receipts, or do you think... Th I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Maybe you should talk to Avery. I don't know about Avery anymore. She's probably distancing herself from me as we speak. I'm alone. I'm the protege of a dead man in a company that no longer exists. Wait. Did you hear that? That's the sound of me being erased from contact lists all around the world. Yeah, well, I hear something else. It's the hug plane coming in for a landing. You're cleared for approach.